Some time ago, I did a show talking about the perpetrators of crime and vandalism on my property and the breaking of agreements with vendors of products that they design. They hold the copyright notice or they hold the trademark on the things that they are producing for America, whether they're perfect or whether they're imperfect. And we do have things sold in stores like Marshalls and other places that are considered imperfect. In other words, they weren't quite designed exactly right. They still made it through the finish line of that production house, that manufacturing space, and they thought they still had enough value to sell. They just don't sell them at the same value or cost. We also have companies that have put products out there that might have been popular two, three years ago, but they still have products left over, so they go into our our retail spaces, they go into our discount places, and they're sold. But what we're really talking about is someone goes to the store, purchases something that's the right size for their application, whether it's an outerwear item or an innerwear item, to protect their body from the faces of weather and the cold of winter. And they have the right to decide what size that's going to be. But you think you have the right to resize somebody's body or resize somebody's clothing so that you feel sexually gratified in some way or immorally in control of someone's day. And you, under the law, do not have the right to do that. That is definitely called sexual harassment. It is definitely called sexual assault and is definitely a form of vandalism or molestation depending on who you are and what you did to that person. But if you're someone's family member, you still don't have rights to do that. And if you're someone's lover, you still don't have the rights to do that because a person is not owned by you ever in this lifetime. It's a whole person we went through civil war. And there was a lot of people who fought hand in hand, side by side, to produce America without racism. And your racism and your hatred is not welcome here.